Hey boys and girls, I hope you're getting excited about Easter. Today we're going to look at the word Easter and we're going to use each letter in the word Easter to help us remember the Easter story so we can share it with someone else. So the first letter in the word Easter is the letter E. E is for everything. The Bible says in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created everything, including the sun, the moon, the stars, plants, trees, animals, and man. He created everything and was pleased with all that he had created. The first man, Adam, and his wife, Eve, lived in the Garden of Eden. It was a perfect, beautiful place. The next letter is the letter A. Something happened there in the Garden of Eden that leads us to this next letter, this next word. A is for all. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. They sinned. And as a result, all of us are born sinners. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That sin separates us from God because God is holy. The next letter is the letter S. S is for Savior. God had a plan. God sent his only son, Jesus, to be born as a baby in Bethlehem. He lived on this earth, and he lived a perfect life. He didn't sin. God sent Jesus to be our Savior. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Only he could do that. T is for tomb. After Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb. They placed a large stone in front of the tomb. E is for empty. On the third day, women went to anoint Jesus' body. And when they got to the tomb, they found the stone had been rolled away and the tomb was empty. R. The letter R is for risen. The angel proclaimed a great message on that first Easter morning. He is risen. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said. That was the wonderful news that the women received on that first Easter Sunday. So, I want you to remember that Easter is not about the eggs and the candy. Easter is all about Jesus. Jesus died on the cross because he loved us. He loves us today. And Jesus arose on Easter morning, and he is alive today. So I hope you'll remember the word Easter in these key words. It'll help you remember the story, and it'll help you remember it in a way that you can share it with someone else. E is for everything. A is for all. S is for Savior. T is for tomb. E is for empty. And R is for risen. May you be able today or sometime this weekend to share this wonderful story of Easter with someone and let them know how much Jesus loves them. I hope that each one of you and your families has a very special Easter.